Work is underway to rebuild a roundabout at a Cabarrus County intersection at the center of a family's longtime campaign for change. It's been six years since a crash along Old Salisbury Concord Road took the life of an 18 year old. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce shows us how his family is a step closer to a safer solution for other drivers. If you've ever turned off Irish Potato Road onto Old Salisbury Concord and Cabarrus County, you've probably done this. Peeling out to avoid being hit by a vehicle you could not see seconds ago. You may have been lucky. Brian Manring, however, was not. I just want everybody to know that my son was a wonderful child that he didn't deserve this. The 18 year old died on July 16th, 2018 at this intersection. He pulled out onto old Salisbury Concord and was hit by an 18 wheeler. Thus began his father's fight for safer intersections. I'm hoping that my fight prevents some other tragedy. Between 2013 and the day of Brian's death, there were 28 crashes at the intersection, with close to half being the result of similar blind spots. The North Carolina Department of Transportation decided in 2018 a roundabout would be the best idea, despite calls for traffic signals. To go from a traffic signal like a full movement intersection to a roundabout, your conflict points go from 32 to a roundabout has about eight. Through years of delay, Brian's father never stopped fighting, which is why as of June 3rd, the dangerous intersection has been closed. The old street signs and mile markers piled up and equipment is paving the way for a safer ride. This was Bill's reaction when we told him over the phone the project was given the go ahead. At least I know something's going to get done and, you know, which is great. But I know construction is a real pain in the butt to get around. Just blink of Brian getting killed at that intersection, and if it just saves one person, it's actually worth it. I'm told construction will be wrapped up and the road will open for the latter part of July, early part of August. In Cabarrus County, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.